Todd of Todd Stuff here, and today we're going to talk about the medieval twin axle crossbow lock. So the original lock, invented by the Romans, had a single axle and a trigger bar here that located into the sear plate that is on the bottom of the nut. Now, that system ran from the late Roman era, let's say 300, all the way through to around 1500 uh, on most medieval bows. Now, around 1500, uh, crossbows stopped being used so pre predominantly on the battlefield and firearms came in. They were still used very heavily for hunting. Now hunting has the massive advantage that it's a rich man's game. And rich men like to show they've got loads of money so they want the latest gadget, brilliant. But also there's other reasons for making a more complicated trigger system. So really around about 1500 trigger systems started to move forward massively quickly. And this is the first step along that path. Now, going back to the original Roman system, I'll do a full in-depth video of this um, at a later date, or the, um, the rotating nut system on a single axle, is you have a little notch in the bottom of the nut there, and that end of the trigger bar here will sit into the notch, pretend this isn't here, sits into the notch. What that means is that as you load the, the crossbow nut with the power of the bow, it's trying to rotate, and it rotates against the end of this trigger bar. Now that means that the entire load of the bow is transferred through the trigger bar. Now if you think of something, this is especially a problem with heavier weight bows, something like an £800,000 bow, that entire load of the bow is being transferred to the trigger system. Now you've got a couple of choices at this point. You can make the trigger very light and therefore the bow will be nice to shoot, pleasant, you're not squeezing so hard, messing up your accuracy, but tiniest bit of wear on that system and you will end up with a hair trigger, so you will lose the functionality and the safety of the device. So the other choice, and it has to be the only choice you can make really, is that you make a heavy trigger. And if the trigger is heavy, it's unpleasant to shoot and you've really got to work it, it can mess up your accuracy. But it has the other added military benefit of being cheap. Now if you develop on from the single axle system and you put a second axle in, you can have this sear in here. Now what that means is now, as you're trying to rotate the nut, the load goes through the axle on that sear, or a lot of the load, and into the stock itself. So you've just got this little notch on the end of your trigger bar resisting the rotation of this. And I'll just show you now. So just loading the nut, pulling the trigger, and it spins. So I'll just set that again. Now, what that means is that you now have a much lighter trigger a much more reliable trigger, so there's not the danger the, uh, that you have on a single axis system of uh, having a hair trigger. So you can have quite a light load trigger and still uh, shoot your bow very easily and safely. Um, what it does mean is that because the stock is now in this position here and the trigger is much lower in the stock, the normal position for a spring uh, you've got to find a new place for it. So I've just thrown down at the top here, which is not what I would do on a single axle. Um, you've got two pins here, and they control the rotation of the sear. And the reason you want that, that sear uh, controlled is that very simply, once you've shot the system, I'll show you again, the sear is not spring-loaded. It doesn't return itself. So it is now trapped within the stock, and you can't access it to put it back into the right place, like I showed you just now. So what you need to do is you make sure that the nut is in the correct place, and there is a small hole in the underneath of the stock, and a pin. And you simply push your pin through that hole, engaging on that sear, and the system locks back into place again. So I'll just show you once more. So I will load the nut, just move the trigger up, and there we go. Do that, push up the sear, and everything's engaged once more and ready to go. Thank you very much.